And we're going to pick up on that claim now with France 24's uh, Wasim Nasser. Thanks for joining us. Uh, let's listen to what the French president had to say. And by the way, the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, uh, has expressed, quote, serious concern over reports of uh, foreign militants. Uh, this, as the uh, Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, a London-based group, says at least 28 pro-Turkey Syrian rebel fighters have been killed in clashes between Armenia and Azerbaijan forces. We have information that indicates with certainty that Syrian fighters have left the theater of operations, fighters of jihadist groups passing through Gaziantep to join the theater of operations in Nagorno-Karabakh. This is a new, very serious fact that is game-changing. So Wasim, he uses the word jihadists there. Well, he does. He actually does. But you have to know where those people were recruited. So actually, I got proof since the 27th of September that, yes, through Gaziantep, through private security companies, many Syrian fighters were uh, traveled through Turkey in order to get to the fight in uh, Nagorno-Karabakh. 27th of September. Yes. So that's after the beginning of the hostilities. Yes, after. But we are sure we surely know where they come from. They come from the Syrian National Army, which is a faction on Turkish payroll, totally depending on uh, Turkish uh, on Turkish authorities, and it's an agglomeration of ex rebel factions that united under uh, this banner. And I got to speak to some militants in Idlib region, and they told me that all the people who went there, they followed the same process as those who went to Libya, meaning they are not jihadists, they are mercenaries. They are going to pick up the fight to get the pay at the end at the end of the month. But for sure, the rally, the, the, the rally call is around jihad for them in order to for Erdogan to rally Arab fighters. While he rallies Turkish fighters, we're talking about nationalism. But I talked also to jihadi sources in Idlib and they condemn those mercenaries, as they call them, fighting in Libya and in the Because they want them now, to fight in Syria. Because they want them to fight in Syria and because they considered that they abandoned the fight in Syria in order to fight under a secular banner in a secular army against another uh, secular army, knowing that if we're talking about jihadis, they will never accept to fight under Turkish banner uh, next to Shia fighters, because the, major, the majority of the Azerbaijani are Shia, under a secular government there, knowing that the fight picking up there is, is happening, and we saw it in the footage, under a heavy usage of drones. And those drones, those drones are Turkish-made, but also Israeli-made. So you will never see a jihadi fighter going into the fight in the, under those conditions. Uh, speaking to Le Monde, uh, <clears throat> some of these uh, foreign mercenaries <clears throat> say, well, they went for the money because it's yes. between 1,300 and 2,000 euros. And right now mm. in Syria, there is no money. There's yes. no jobs. And it's way and it's way higher than the average uh, uh, wage uh, in Idlib. And they're also saying that uh, they left more than a week ago. So in other words, this is further confirmation there was a troop buildup of course. before of the course. hostilities began. Of course. We began hearing rumors about this. I told you I got to confirm it on the 27th. But rumors be be uh, were happening before, even before uh, this day. So, of course, there was a buildup of force in order to involve them. If you want more details, I was told that they were told that they were going to be guarding some outposts and not contributing to the fight. And we know today that at least, at least 30 of them died there in, uh, during the fighting against the Armenian, Armenian forces. But it's really important to, to, to explain that those fighter are fighters, even if they are fanatics, hmm, being fanatics, all jihadis are fanatics, huh? but not all fanatics are, are jihadis. And all not all mercenaries are fanatics too. So we have to make a difference to see who's fighting under the banner of jihad and who's fighting under uh, the Turkish banner for the money. All right, many thanks, uh, France 24's Wasim Nasser.